Hi, I'm Matthew Anian, a program manager on the Visual Studio team. In this video, I'm going to show you the new features in CodeLens which were released in the past one year. If you're new to CodeLens, I recommend you watch the previous edition of the CodeLens video on Connect. I will show you the link at the end of this presentation. I'm going to start with a quick introduction to CodeLens and the different types of CodeLens indicators. I will follow that up with a discussion of the latest features in CodeLens. Then I will demonstrate each of these new features. I will conclude with a list of resources which can help you drill down deeper into this topic. CodeLens is a developer heads-up display that provides key contextual information about the code in line in the editor. It allows you to keep your focus in the editor and reduce costly context switching. Here, you can see the code lens indicators which occupy the line above the calculator constructor. You can hover over and click on each indicator to get additional information. In this example, you can see that Frances has made some change and we can contact her directly over email, IM or phone using the code lens integration with Skype for Business. In the past one year, we have released CodeLens in Visual Studio Team Services. All the capabilities that are present in on-premises Team Foundation Server are now available on Visual Studio Team Services. CodeLens is available in multiple geographic regions corresponding to Visual Studio Team Services, including United States, Europe, and Australia. The top feedback from you was to make CodeLens available in Visual Studio Professional. Previously, CodeLens was only available in Visual Studio Ultimate 2013. I'm very happy to announce that CodeLens is now available in Visual Studio Professional 2015 and Visual Studio Enterprise 2015 editions. Earlier, CodeLens was only available for the managed languages C Sharp and Visual Basic. We have now enabled it for all languages. CodeLens appears at the file level for these languages. Similar to the existing indicators, these file level indicators show the timeline view, the authors and changes view, and the work items view. Earlier, some of the CodeLens indicators and details were not available for Team Foundation version control. We have now bought parity to all CodeLens features between Team Foundation version control and Git. In this context, we have added the timeline indicator and the team activity view for TFVC also during the past one year. Now I will switch over to the demo. Here I have Visual Studio Professional 2015. I have used the GitHub extension to clone Azure Mobile Services repo from GitHub. I have opened the mobile service client.js. Notice how at the bottom of the screen, now you can see the code lens indicators. I can see that Dale Anderson has made some changes 205 days ago. If I click on it, I get the team activity view, which gives me information about who are the developers who made these changes. Every developer who made a change is listed here, along with the view of when the change was made. Each indicator here has additional information about the change. If you hover on it, you get to see the details about that change. The type of the shape also indicates the type of the change. For example, the circle represents edit and the triangle represents merge changes. Moving over, you can see here the authors and changes indicator. If I click on it, I get the list of all the changes and the authors who made those changes. The timeline indicator and the authors and changes indicator are really helpful when you are troubleshooting a problem. It helps you to identify the developers who have made changes to this file. Also, it helps you to assess the change history of this file. When you are debugging an issue, this will help you to get to the right person very easily. Now let me switch to another project. Here, this project is managed in Team Foundation version control in Visual Studio Team Services. To confirm, let me go to the web portal.
Here you can see that it is coming from my Visual Studio Team Services account. All the code lens indicators are also available here. You can see here the timeline view where Alex has made some changes 161 days ago. If I click on it, I get the team activity view. This functionality of the team activity view is identical to what you saw earlier. The authors and changes indicator again lists all the changes that have been made on this particular code element. Similarly, you can see the bugs, the work items and the incoming changes that are associated with this code element. So that's it for the demo. I hope you found it useful. To conclude, here are some resources you can follow to find more information. I've included documentation on MSDN, a video on channel 9, the blog where we announce and introduce new features, the forum you can use to ask questions, and the user voice site where you can post suggestions. Thanks for watching.